Good evening, YouTubers. Thanks for stopping by. It's, uh, I don't know, about 8 o'clock at night on Saturday. Uh, 21st, the second, maybe the uh, 26th, I think. I don't know. All I know, it's hot. It was 100 and something degrees today three or four and I, they're saying tomorrow on Sunday is going to be 114 here in Oregon. Let's let's just hope uh, that they don't know what they're talking about. All I know is it's really, really hot tonight. I don't think it's going to cool down uh, below 80 tonight. But we did get some yard sailing done and I want to uh, run you by what we picked up. Sean, I'm sorry that you and Timmy got rained out. Uh, today, but uh, today we uh, we made up for it. So let me flip you around here, and I'll walk you through some things that we picked up today. Uh, that's correct. Uh, okay, uh, little brass. It's got some condition issues. Little brass uh, fire hydrant, fire guard SOS. Uh, That'll go down to the booth. I got this really cool Matco. It being Matco, I'm thinking maybe this is some sort of a body hammer. Uh, but I think this is going to be my favorite hammer. It's a uh, link number 1111-1. Uh, ran peen. That's weird. Instead of ball peen. Oh, ball peen. Ball peen. Uh, anyway, very cool hammer. A buck. I can't believe it. Um, these look old, but believe it or not, you can actually get these. This could be an older version of it. They're made in Finland. It's sharp. Uh, real nice uh, J. Martinini Finland uh, flay knife. Picked that up. Uh, I wanted five bucks. I gave uh, three on that. Uh, really nice uh, quality alligator clip leads to put in the uh, meter, ohm meter box. You just push your pointer leads right into the end and convert them into alligator clips. So that's a nice accessory I didn't have. Uh, <laughs> nice little porcelain made in USA. Handmade USA Mountain Meadows Pottery. It says, it's backwards for you. But it says, please let me drop everything and work on your problem, which is my life. Uh, titanium. Uh, this thing is as light as a feather. Titanium 400 Evernew. This mug, I have to look this up because I know this Evernew stuff goes for a pretty good penny. 25 cents. Uh, a couple of old bottles. This is the Tarrant Company, Chemists New York. It's kind of purple. And I got a uh, Golden Rod Dairy uh, Milk Jug. They wanted a buck a piece for these. Um, these will go down to the booth. These people like those. Um, nice little martini or drink shaker. That'll go down to the booth. It was a buck. Uh, check this out. <laughs> I did a bundle deal and ended up getting both of these knives for 10. 10 each, so 20 for the pair. But I got a Leatherman Core. And I think it's brand new. I, honestly, if it's if it's been used, I'd be surprised. The blade is sharp as a tack. And then I also got a Leatherman Skeletool. So I haven't really played with these much, but uh, they're actually beautiful. Uh, they're not the they're not they don't say made in China anywhere. So I'm hoping that uh, th these are a Portland. They used to say Portland right on them. Uh, we'll see. I'll have to look them up. Got this really interesting pruning knife. It's Japanese. It's called uh, Barnell. And I'm thinking that this might be uh, like a vineyard tool. It's, it's got a serrated knife here. Uh, hook it, slice it, Barnell. Maybe, maybe from one of the vineyards here. Uh, these go on your handlebars for your ATV to hold your rifle. Nice quality anodized ends with hooks. Sell those. Um, really nice 
I got a Buck and a Smith in the box. Uh, sharpening stones. This will go in my uh, my kit. I uh, got uh, I'm allegedly every fridge magnet for every uh, state. Uh, looks like there's as many in there as there needs to be, but uh, that'll be kind of cool. Maybe I'll get a piece of metal, put these all in there, and sell these down at my booth. This is a neat little travel game setup. It's got this nice little wooden chess board and a nice little wooden cribbage board and all the pieces and cards. Um, Druke, D-R-U-E-K-E, -E, multi-game. A nice little bag and the whole works there. Uh, this is a little cool case. Japanese steak knives. And I did remember seeing the, the uh, a name on there so I can look these up. They were cheap, so I just grabbed them. This is an interesting little tool. Looks like maybe well, clearly had a very specific purpose as a really thick, broad axe head. And then, of course, a hoe. I don't see any markings other than uh, the U.S. patent. D299412. Um, and it says wear goggles, so it can't be that old. Um, at least I wouldn't think it would be. I got a brand new uh, gas tank filler hose. Still in, the, still in the bag. I got this Gerber uh, machete saw on the back. Blades messed up. It's going to need some... We'll save that for the winter time. We'll work on that and see if we can get that blade uh, turned around. Because I don't know what they were chopping with it, but it wasn't good. A couple of real nice thick Kodak film canisters. Real nice storage. Take those down to the booth. Um, got three uh, let's see, what are they? Weston Bull Mill, Weston, Vermont. Uh, these for uh, people that collect spoons. You put your spoon collection in there and hang, hang it on the wall. Uh oh, what did I drop? Oh, hang on a second. Dropping stuff all over the place. Okay, um, almost done. A uh, couple of my favorite things before I get to my absolute favorite deal. Oh, I got an entire case of this B&B uh, &B, uh, brake cleaner, or a parts cleaner. It's kind of universal, uh, and it works fantastic. I couldn't believe it. I, uh, I got one of these oil cans here and sprayed this down, and it had years and years of cake on that, and it just, I mean, just literally just peeled away. I'll show you these little oil can stash that I got here. But I got, uh, I think, 12 cans of this. Uh, an entire case, and that'll go to good use working on lanterns and, and uh, all the stuff. Uh oh. WD 40 fell. Okay. Uh, took a couple risks on some electronics. I got a, and this is an actual Apple keyboard. I don't know what it's for but maybe I don't know how you it must be Bluetooth or something I don't see any place where it plugs in anyway it was a couple bucks so I grabbed it it is definitely a genuine Apple product um, and with that I got this little Mac computer right here they wanted 20 for this I didn't give them 20 for that trust me but it is a uh, uh, what does it say here? I saw it on here. The model number. Anyway, no cords. So, there it is. We'll see what happens. They gave me this cord. They're thinking that was it. And this is from a Nintendo. 
but I'll bet you that this Nintendo cord, I bet I can get 20 bucks for this Nintendo cord, and I will. Uh, brand new inverter. Plug this into your charger. You got electrical and you got your USB. Uh, and let's see, and then it looks like you can come back out of it again. Crazy. So, got that for a couple bucks. <clears throat> now, <laughs> check this out. Um, I actually have this thermos, and uh, but I have never seen the case, okay? And the case is in fine shape. This is one of the best lanterns ever made, okay? It's a Univac. Um, and it's a monster. It's all there. Uh, they wanted seven bucks. I think I offered them five. Fantastic uh, thermos. I think I'm going to send my thermos that I've been using for years down the road. This one's always been in its case, you can tell. And uh, this will now be my personal thermos. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, let's see. Hang on a second. A couple more things. Doc Martin boots made in England. Got these. Brand new entire gallon or more. Yeah, one gallon of paint stripper. I'll bet you that that's 30 bucks. Um, maybe used it once. There's a little dribble up here, but I mean it feels completely full. Vintage model XA71 high tech three way speakers still in the box. Little three ways. Nothing special, but they are brand new in the box. Three bucks. Now, this someone has painted, and uh, the fins are missing on this, but I think this is a practice bomb. So, I'll probably just uh, paint this again. And maybe tack, tack weld uh, four little fins on here. Let's take that down to the boot. Uh, here, I'm going to get you down for the rest. I got my last few items. All right, so I don't know if you guys get excited about cassettes, but I got a, a bunch of uh, real nice TDK, brand new in the box. I also got all the Led Zeppelin CDs except for a couple, but this is all Led Zeppelin, and they're all the original, um, not record group, um, record club. Uh, this is, I think, a melt jug. This is all brass on the top here, and it's stainless on the inside, and I can't find any markings on it anywhere. I'm pretty sure it's a melt jug. If, if you guys know a little bit more about that, That'd be great. And then this is actually an exciting score for me. Um, this is a fantastic gas jug. Uh, no safety features and you don't have to, you know, do a dance just to just to do gas. It's a five gallon by Igaloo Jerry Jug. Uh, super happy about that score. And then here is my best and final. This is a metal horse and it works you basically step on this I got it from the original owner uh, the man that actually had this as a kid um, he was a, a military kid and they traveled all over the world with this thing and uh, it's in really really good shape it's missing its uh, um, bridle but we're gonna put one another one on it flip this around you see the pedal there you go and it's got a sticker on it mobo mobo bronco so let the grandkids play with that next week or a couple weeks when they come and then I'll probably sell that and I think that's it um, pretty good haul actually being so hot I was kind of afraid that maybe people would not 
be excited about doing any sales. I think I might have missed a few smalls. I did forget to actually show you last week that I actually picked up this little chainsaw to still um, 020 AV. I actually got this in last week's haul and it didn't have a, a cord. So I got a new cord, pull cord for it. I haven't started it yet, but it does have compression and it feels right. Um, so yeah, this this would be added to last week's uh, goodies. Um, I think that's it. And uh, you guys stay safe. Thanks for coming by and checking out uh, today's yard sale scores. Take care. Thanks for stopping in.